Hi, good afternoon. I'm Lisa Albanowski. I am an associate broker with uh, Signature Premier Properties here in Sayville. And today I have with me uh, on my business corner, Kevin Donovan from Educators Tax, and he's located in Blue Point. And he's going to share with us some of his information about his business. How are you, Kevin? Happy holidays. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm very good. Uh, again, uh, I'm an enrolled agent uh, with the IRS. It's basically the highest tax credential that the IRS has to offer. One becomes an enrolled agent either by working five years with the IRS, okay, in the tax examination division, or you can take a three-part 11-hour exam, okay? Actually, when I took it, it was four parts. Now it's three parts. Time limit is the same. It's 11 hours. And that's, again, that's how I became uh, licensed by the IRS to practice at all levels within the IRS as well. And I'm also an independent financial advisor, okay? And I tend to uh, specialize in K-12 educators, all right? And I am uh, an approved provider for all educators on Long Island. I mean, every, just about every single district, okay? Uh, my, my broker, which is Plan Member Securities, Mutual Inc., operates in all the districts on Long Island. So I'm able to help just about every single teacher on Long Island with their finances. That's awesome. So um, how long have you been in the business? Well, let's see. Um, I've been, let's say, an enrolled agent for almost 20 years, okay? And I got my, I finally got all my securities licenses about two years ago uh, through FINRA. I took a Series 7, a Series 63, a Series 65 exam, and then I got my New York State Life and Health Insurance Broker exam also two years ago, just after I retired from teaching. However, I've been involved in investing for over 30 years, okay? Um, and I just got so involved in investing that it led me to eventually sit for all those licensing exams. Because it, again, another way for me uh, to help teachers, because again, when you first start out teaching, don't have a lot of money. So you wanna be able to take the money that you can save and put it to work for you, all right? And that's what, you know, that's what I try and do for teachers and try and help them take whatever they can save and put it into the market and make it work for them just like they are working for us. So you were a teacher and then when yep. you retired, you were investing your own funds and learned very yep. much about them. And your interest was so strong and your knowledge that you wanted to then pass it along to other teachers. And that's how you got into the business. Exactly. What happened was I would say about 30, a little over 30 years ago, when I first started teaching, I had some money. At the end of the month, okay, oh, I, I saved some money. Okay, I was living on my own. I was about 24 years old. And I was like, well, I have this money. I don't want to have it sitting in a savings account. What I wanted was I wanted to put the money to work. Okay, so, so I, that led me to read a lot of books about investing. And then as a result, okay, I read so many books, okay, uh, and I, I became quite knowledgeable. I, I, I tended to help other people as well uh, learn about investing. Again, and that also led me, again, along this new career that I have after I retired and eventually led me to take the Series 7 exam um, and Got then it. the Series 5, all the ones I talked about before. Right. So um, where is your business? Is it is it a place where people can uh, walk into? Um, do they need to set an appointment with you? How do they connect with you? Yes, they, they would need to set an appointment. I, I almost always work uh, out of my home office, which is a, which is in Blue Point. Okay, um, I do have office space um, on the top of the Teachers Federal Credit Union in Farmingville. But again, when you're, you're a teacher and you're on a schedule all the time, uh, I tend to just like working from at home. It's much more quiet. I make my own hours. Um, I'm not. You know, I'm, I don't have to show up at a particular place, okay, to work all the time. I usually just work right at my house. It seems to be most comfortable. So people come to you after hours, on the weekends, so you're very flexible on how you have appointments with them. Yes, yes. Usually, uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday, or in the evenings as well. Got it. So um, what um, what kind of a, uh, uh, of a, 
a story can you tell me, if any, about like a memorable experience with someone who may have invested and, you know, wound up to be surprised or happy? Is there something you can share with us about one of your clients? Okay, well, I remember back, uh, you know, several years ago, a, a guy I do taxes for, um, he's just one, but there, there, there are several. Okay, uh, back then, the there was a, you know, it was during the depths of the financial crisis back in 2008. And this one client was, oh, I want, I should, I really want to sell. I want to sell all these uh, stocks because I'm losing so much money. He was down well over 50%. And I was counseling him, just, you know, stay calm. These things happen. Okay. And a lot of times with investing, it's not so, it has to do more with how well you can stomach the market downturns. And what was going to happen is he was going to sell and he was going to uh, essentially lock in all his losses. He would have lost probably about $350,000. That's just, you know, on one, in one instance. And I was able to calm him down and eventually, okay, he decided not to sell. And over the next couple of years, he got all his money back. Okay. And plus, you know, a very substantial profit as a result of, you know, being able to hold on during the downturn. Now, it's easier for teachers to hold on because they have a nice pension, okay, at the end of their retirement rainbow, so to speak, that they can rely on, which is very helpful for them. And I tend to use that to try and keep them calm because the, the teacher's pension is the biggest part of their portfolio. Got it. So, um, and you've been there yourself, so you certainly yes, know. Yes, I, 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 right now, I, I invest uh, the same way. I invest myself, okay, and the teachers the, the, the same way. So I have skin in the game. I have my money invested just like they do. And so when they feel losses, I'm feeling the same thing they are. And that's why, again, that's why I tend to specialize in teachers. I know exactly what they're going through. That's good. And so what do customers say? What do your clients say is one of the favorite things about coming to you as a business professional? Okay, when they come meet me, okay, uh, I tend to sit and I'll listen to them. I'm not someone who's going to occupy the airwaves, okay? So mostly I try and be the best listener I can. I tend to learn more my, when my mouth is shut. Um, but I, I get things done pretty quickly. All right. If you come to me and we sit down and we talk, whether it's taxes or coming up with a financial plan, I usually have it done within 24 hours, at most 48. So I, I, my, the turnaround time is quick. As long as that individual is cooperative with me, I'm going to be very quick. Got it. So yeah. um, your, your focus is working with teachers yeah. and you do their taxes, their personal uh, yeah. returns. For and also, they have a small business on the side. A lot of times, I will I also do them as well. Okay, so a lot of teachers who have like uh, a a um, another kind of a small business that they own, you'll do their taxes for their business as well as their personal returns. Exactly. And, and sometimes the the whether it's the husband or the wife who's not a teacher, maybe they're involved in a business, and I can you know help prepare them as well, or choose some sort of entity selections. Uh, whatever, you know, suits their particular need. So um, what motivates you to do what you do? Well, it's just basically, it's like another form of teaching. Again, uh, for, for my first 20 years of teaching, I was an earth science and living environment teacher. And then the last 12 years of teaching, I was a, uh, I was a physical education teacher. Now, um, now I'm basically teaching, you know, finance and taxes. Okay, so I'm tending that full time. So, you know, I'm always like a teacher first, salesman second. And that's good. And you're living by example, so to speak, also. Yeah. So, so how do you get how do you get your clients and what do you use what does your business need right now? Um, what what do I need? Well, I, well, again, uh, I can always use you know a few more teachers, uh, you know. I really don't need anything. What I want is you know, I want ideal clients. So I don't really need much of anything okay so That's but good. again uh yeah ideal teacher clients okay uh, people that come in uh they they have they want to listen and they want to learn so again if i can have someone who wants to sit with me and they tell me all about themselves and they want me to help them okay reach their goals those are the types of people i want 
Got it. So if I meet teachers, you know, in my life, I sell properties, right? right. Um, I have a lot of teachers of my past clients and current clients. Um, those would be people who would be clients for you if they're interested in uh, sitting down and listening to you. Those are the kind of people that I can send you away. Yes, exactly. Okay. Again, as I said, K to 12 people, those are the ones I specialize in. All right. Obviously, if, if the husband or wife is not a teacher, I work with them too. But that's usually, that tends to be my strength. That's what I specialize in. Well, that's good. So yeah. locally, you're in Blue Point and you serve clients yeah. in the whole geographic area, anybody who is willing to come to you. Do they have yes. to come? Do they have to come to your office, your home office for oh, a no. meeting? I mean, I can I can do a Zoom meeting if you know if they if they're comfortable with that. I mean, a lot of times people want to see the guy behind the curtain, so they want to come meet him face to face. So, but either way, I can do a Zoom meeting. Also, I I, I have done virtual meetings uh, many times. Got it. So, do your clients come back to you uh, when they're getting ready to retire for some um, for some extra advice? Oh yeah, always. Well, that's what that's the beauty of, of doing the taxes. Also, from for most of my investing clients, I also do their taxes. So they will come to me, either sit with me. We can do a virtual, okay? And you know, I'll talk about their investing, how the markets are going, what's going on with regard to their portfolio. Um, I will explain, you know, you know how the whole retirement process works as well. That I, I can I can also again meet not just for taxes I can also uh, you know I, I reach out to them probably monthly just to check in to see how they're doing I always give them emails I give them uh, educational information with regard to the markets every month and then you know I also reach out to them especially when the markets are down you want to make sure your clients you know uh, they have an understanding of what's going on and they don't get too nervous because. A lot of times when clients are very nervous, that's when bad things can happen to their money. Right. So you stay in touch. So you're really committed yeah. to the business. That's what I hear. So, Kevin, yeah. it was really um, interesting to learn about your business. I didn't know that there are financial planners like yourself who are just dedicated to educators. So you taught right. me something today. Um, right. And you're and and you're also going to help those people with their not only their taxes, but if they have a spouse or a significant other who um, they're with, you'll certainly be able to help their small business as well. Right, right. And again, if I don't have an answer for their particular for one of their particular problems, I can always call people. I have like a team of people that I work with, you know, other lawyers and things like that that I can call. OK, and also get answers to their questions as well. So if I don't have the answer right off the top of my head, I can dial into a network of people, whether it be taxes, whether it be finances, especially with elder care. I can call a team of attorneys and other people that will also have information for them and help them. And that's awesome. Like my practice, I'm a real estate uh, broker and I work with seniors. That is one of my specialties. So I yes. work with a lot of elder law attorneys and mortgage professionals who not only do regular mortgages, but also reverse if it suits them. Right. OK. So you're very team oriented like I am. Yes, and exactly. um, and, and that, I think that's the name of the game in the sense of helping clients in all aspects. Right. Yes, absolutely. So it was wonderful to learn about your business and meet you. How do people find you? How do they reach you? Give us some information about your phone and your website, et cetera. Okay, well, they can they can reach me uh, at my website. It's, uh, let's see, it's educatorstax.com. Okay, www.educatorstax.com. They can go there, learn more about me. They can call or text me at 631-848-1316. Or reach me via email, Kevin at educatorstax.com. Very easy. Okay. Good, yeah. Kevin Donovan, it's been a pleasure. I wish you um, a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. And uh, great to great to meet you and get information out to our, our public, our local community. Uh, have a wonderful rest of the weekend and uh, enjoy your day. Thank Good. you so much, Kevin. Bye now. Thank you. Same to you, Lisa. Bye.